All right, guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Today, we're going to be looking at the Promark GPS Shadow Drone and a modification that I've done to the camera. I'll explain this pile of camera parts right after this. Alright guys, first of all, I'll give a shout out to Mike from Mike's Jones and more for giving me the idea to do this modification. I took what he kind of did on one of his videos and I think I ran through the uh, into the end zone with it. And you guys will see that in just a second. Uh, but why did I want to do this? What was my, my thought process for doing this? Well, you guys may not know it or you may know it. Uh, some of you might know me from a couple of groups on Facebook. Uh, but I've been trying pretty relentlessly for a while now to get a uh, Wi-Fi repeater to connect with the uh, Wi-Fi signal from the camera on this drone. I'm having no luck at all. Um, I started thinking about it after that and kind of hindsight being 2020, basically, uh, what was I thinking? Uh, I'm thinking, well, what am I doing? I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to put a chocolate coating on a turd, basically. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi FPV is, is a turd. It's, it's garbage. It really doesn't work that well, uh, considering the fact that you're using a transmitter that's emitting a 2.4 gigahertz radio signal. Uh, those two are clashing and it's causing all kinds of interference. And what am I really doing by trying to enhance it with a Wi-Fi repeater? Um, the camera itself was a 720p camera uh, with no image stabilization, with no white balance, nothing. It was just a basic, basic camera. So that being said, um, I got the idea again from Mike at Mike's Drones and more. And uh, what he did and what I'm doing, what I did here is I disassembled the uh, original camera. Here you can see all the pieces here. The only thing that's missing right now is the Wi-Fi board that was inside. Um, and um, I've got that um, actually attached to the drone right now. My way of thinking was let's get a better camera on here, like an action cam. And let's get that action cam, uh, you know, taking some good pictures. But... Let's see if we can still get that telemetry uh, to the app. So I want to be able to see those things. I liked being able to see my distance. I liked being able to see my altitude. I like being able to see the uh, power left in my transmitter, the power left in my drone, um, all those types of things. I like to be able to see that. So that's what I've done um, in this uh, modification. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, let's get this out of the way. And I'll show you that in just a second. So here it is. This is the uh, P70 GPS Shadow Drone by Promark. Um, or this will also work, this modification will also work with the uh, Holy Stone HS100. Uh, it will also work with the uh, SJRC um, S70W. All pretty much the same drone, guys. Um, it's not, no mystery there. Everybody knows that. Uh, this is the modification that I've done. Now, you can see in front on this one, we have a really tiny little uh, action cam on here. This is an SQ12 um, mini DV action cam. I'm going to be doing a review video on this in the coming weeks, so watch for that. But I've got this on here just to kind of show you guys what I've done. So I made a I had to make some modifications on the uh, the mount itself. Now this is pretty much a standard GoPro type mount on here, guys. But um, I'm using a Bugs Three um, mount. This is a Bugs Three. Uh, gimbal mount on here. So basically you have a little bit of uh, dampening. It's up inside here so it moves around a little bit, a little bit of damping. Uh, but I had to modify this in order to get this to work with the drone and the wires coming out of the bottom for the Wi-Fi. So what I've done is uh, remove some material with a hobby grinder on the inside here, cut the tongue off of here. There's a tongue probably about that long. Got that out of the way and um, I had to drill the uh, existing hole that was in here because it was just attached by two little screws that went through onto the Bugs, uh, Bugs 3 
uh, camera um, holder. So I actually had to drill this out, make it bigger. I put a nylon washer as a spacer between and everything fits together really, really nicely. Uh, this is a waterproof case that came with the camera. I don't have any other case for it right now, so that's why you're seeing this. I'm not going scuba diving with the drone. So uh, that being said, so the modifications had to be done to this in order to get it to um, work with the existing Wi-Fi wires coming out of the bottom here. And I'll show you that in a second. Let's set that aside right now. Get this out of the way here. So you can see on the bottom here, um, I have a made a little box for the innards. Now the innards of the camera are basically going to be a uh, a box probably about this big, uh, actually a circuit board about that big, uh, that have you know a bunch of uh, a bunch of chips on it, that type of thing, and you also have your uh, Wi-Fi antenna that comes out of this. So it's essentially the Wi-Fi uh, brains of the whole operation. Um, I was planning on, and I noticed Mike had taken his, and he was planning on just taping it to the side of his um, of his drone. And um, I thought, well, yeah, that, that, that's cool, but I kind of wanted something that would look a little bit nicer, be a little bit more protective of that, uh, of that piece of electronics. So what I did was um, I started brainstorming. I looked around my shop area here in my parts bin, and I found a bunch of these old um, five-position 1S chargers. Now, you can get these when you purchase um, 1S batteries. They come with like a charger. It's got five or six positions on it. That's exactly what this is, guys. You can see here are the, all these little holes here. Now they're, they used to have LEDs in there to show you what battery was charged and which one wasn't. And now they actually act as vent holes for the circuit board on the inside. So what I've done is um, open this up and I can't do it right now, and I wish I would have made a video showing it, but it would have been a pretty lengthy one. Uh, I actually, this actually just snaps in half. So it comes, it, you pry it up, it comes in half, and then on the inside you have little partitions for all of these little uh, um, holes here. And you have also partitions for the, um, you can see in the front here, I hope this camera is focusing, but you can see the little slots in here that used to be, there used to be, um, oh, this camera's not focusing, guys, I'm sorry. Let's get this back here a little bit. We got it. There we go. So there's little slots right here, and I apologize for the camera. I plan on getting a better camera soon, folks. Um, these slots right here uh, would actually uh, house the uh, house the jacks for uh, 1S batteries. So what I've done is left two of those open, and I used the one on this side here to run the uh, Wi-Fi antenna cable through, and I used a block um, of some foam to kind of to kind of um, give me some slack in the in the cable and the wire that came up because there just wasn't enough room uh, wasn't enough cable and it would have been I wanted to put it I wanted to attach it to the leg here so I used this block of foam on here and that's all hot glued on and uh, so it works out really good guys that that circuit board fit really nicely in here once I took some material with a hobby grinder out and I'll turn turn the drone around the other way and I'll show you guys the front here. And don't mind the green tape, that's just my um, FAA information uh, on there for the registration on the drone. But you can see I'm using the original cable for the Wi-Fi, um, and uh, it plugs right into the bottom here. What I've done too is I've taken that hobby grinder and I've removed a little bit more material here, so I could kind of lay those wires down a little bit flatter. But being that I made the modification to that bug's mount and took the took the material off the bottom here, um, there I have a lot of air space between where the uh, plastic actually touches the bottom of the fuselage and uh, and the drone itself and the mount itself. So I've got air space there. So when I slide this over, it completely misses those wires, which I think worked out really really nicely. Um, but that's pretty much it. Now this is Velcroed on here. I've got this Velcroed down. Um, Everything is insulated on the inside um, of this of this little casing that I built here. Uh, everything is Velcroed on, so it Velcros right on there and it stays put. So if I had to take it off of there for whatever reason, it would come off pretty easily. Just a matter of cutting this uh, zip tie over here that's holding onto the uh, antenna wire and then removing the antenna from the bottom here and then just pulling everything off off of the uh, drone. But I think um, this is probably going to stay on here for the most part uh, because I like to have the telemetry and this is, just seems like a, a good way to do it. Um, 
everything fit together well. Everything worked together uh, uh, pretty pretty easily. Um, I had to do a little bit of thinking on my, my main concern was finding a casing that I could house that uh, circuit board and that would fit it and still you know have enough ventilation and and be able to you know, snap shut and cut and provide some protection for that circuit board as well. Well, this just worked out perfectly, guys. I'm telling you what, it really worked out nice. Um, so the only thing I had to put on the outside was this um, piece of dielectric material here uh, for the uh, wires. If anybody knows what that's called right there, wires are kind of wind, these wires kind of wind through two loops or one loop around there. I'm not quite sure what that's called, uh, but I know it's a piece of dielectric material. I think it's um, graphite or something like that. But uh, if you know what that's called, put it down in the comments so I so I know um, what that is. But um, yeah, so everything works out really good, guys. Um, the camera uh, fits on here nicely, like I mentioned before. Plenty of airspace underneath. Um, and I'll go and put this up like this so you guys can see. Um, plenty of airspace underneath the wires, so I'm not scraping against any wires when I'm putting this on. And then I went and took a little another piece of foam, and I put that underneath here to kind of, to kind of baffle or kind of pad everything and uh, keep everything kind of steady there. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Um, this is a great drone guys it is a great drone i'm having a lot of fun with this one um, it's still 99 dollars on on uh, promark's website about 120 if you can find one in a walmart somewhere 179 on the uh, walmart.com and even for 179 dollars this is a really great drone um, all the features work and you saw my review videos on it i'm not going to go through any more of that but Good way to modify it to get rid of that camera, still keep your telemetry, all that good stuff right here. This works out really good. And you guys can put your own spin on it, use whatever you whatever you choose to use. Uh, Mike from Mike's Drones and More was actually going to tape, like I mentioned, it on there. I think that would have worked out fine. I was just looking for a little bit more of a clean look if, if, if that's even a thing with this. I know this whole block thing in the back there is kind of ugly, but it's functional. So that's pretty much it for the video today, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. That really helps my channel out a lot. And um, hit that bell up on top too, guys, so you get all my videos coming through. If you have any questions, comments, put them down in the comments section below. That's pretty much it. We'll see, all, see you guys uh, in the next one. God bless the Republic.